Hey guys, Karis if here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe King of Mirai Watch from Kamen Rider Geo. This is a special Mirai Watch used by Kamen Rider Waz to obtain his power-up form. So, let's get started. First off, let's take a look at the King of Mirai Watch on its own. As to be expected from a power-up item, this has a different shape than a typical Mirai Watch. For comparison, here it is next to the Waz Mirai Watch. You can see that it has the same basic screen shape. So in this case, instead of having a rider face in the center, it has the common marking, as well as was a symbol below it. And you see it does have that same kind of pattern on the outer part, except now it's on this big outer loop. It also has some mechanical detailing on it. That is similar to the marks or the kind of three dots, the kind of dummy buttons of the Beyond Driver. With some nice details to it. On the side you have this big reel, consistent of form tax triggers, each with various plants on them. As the Ginga in the Ginga Red Watch means galaxy. You also see at the top there is this center hole, or kind of central hole, with which right now you can see the common mark that matches up with the one on the front. Now the back here, of course it includes bun cell batteries, the speaker here, and the QR code for on the rising, as well as the uh, rail right there. Now, I don't quite remember where the speaker is, but uh, it. Oh, yeah, right, it's right back there. <laughs> My bad. So, the main gimmick here is that this big part is a reel with which you can turn to change the mode. The first one you have is Ginga mode for his. Uh, kind of standard was Ginga form, and then he also has a couple of subforms or form changes, which are more like mode changes, which are Tayo, meaning sun, and Wakse, meaning planet. Now, to start, we'll take a look at the Sun's MX on its own in the kind of default mode. So the activation sound, then the rider instruction, the burning sun, the countless planets, the distant universe is my backyard, Kamen Rider Ginga. And then we have the third sound. Which is similar to the previous form change Mirai watches, a karaoke version of the transformation theme, or rather the instrumentals of that transformation. And for the other three, they just have the activation sound. And for each of them, changing that the mode also changes the symbol that appears within the ring. So it acts as a good visual indicator for if you're wearing the belt as to which mode that you're currently in. Next we use the Ginga Watch with the Beyond Driver for the transmissions. First we'll pick the mode. Then activate the watch. Then go as normal with the Beyond Driver. And there we have the transformation for Kamen Rider Waz Ginga finally. And that is the official name of the base mode of that form. 
though I'll admit it's definitely the most awkward sounding commenter form I've probably ever heard. So for the remainder of the video, I'll just be referring to him as Wazginga. So as you can hear, this used the secondary transformation tune, which is activated by the slower button. And so as you can see here, got indentation. That's the opposite of the normal Luminaride watches. It hits the bomb button, but not the top. So you get the secondary transformation sound that I show you guys in my review of the Beyond Driver. And as you can see, by bringing the driver very close to the camera, I can probably show you the image displayed on the screen of Wazginga finally with Ginga spelled out in Katakana, as well as a symbol on this forehead, which is Earth, with it rotated so that Japan faces forward. Then we can activate the finisher attack by doing the same thing we do with a normal Mirai watch. So that activates finally beyond the time for the Chogunga explosion. Then we'll switch to Tayo. That activates the transformation for Commander Was Ginga Taiyo form, which is kind of weird because, as I said, and as I'll show, they're more like mode changes. This obviously gives him sun powers with Taiyo Rin on the uh, eye visor. And of course, a symbol of the sun on his forehead. And we'll activate this finally beyond the time. That activates the Burning Sun Explosion. <laughs> then we'll switch over to Wakse. And that activates the transformation into Kamener Was Ginga Wakse form, which gives them the power of the plants. Now, you could definitely hear that that was a very fast and probably hard to understand or hard to make out transformation phrase. And it is, though it is also interesting, as it contains a mnemonic device used by the Japanese people to remember the names of the plants in their orders, which contains the first kanji of each of the different planets in the solar system. Sui kin chi ka moku do tenkai. Now you could hear that I only read out eight different characters, and that's because there used to be Mei at the end of that until, of course, Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet, so they removed that. And so now that I've shown you guys the different transformations, I can actually show you the form itself. So here we have Kaminar was Ginga, where you can see his proper face with the symbol and the antenna got a very cool armor that contains the sun and various plants surrounding it. And then you can see Taiyo form and Wakse form, where as you can tell, the only thing that really changes about them is the face. So it's really hard to call them forms when they 
really don't change much and are very much equivalent to mode changes. And then we'll activate It's beyond the, Finally Beyond the Time. And then I read the Suikin Chikamoku Do Tenkai Explosion. And the symbol for Wakusei form is, I guess, the most distinct plant, that being Saturn. And finally, we can activate it in the driver when in the default mode. And as you can hear, it just plays the instrumental of the transformation song. Though, it, funny enough, because of the way that it's originally done, the common lettering in this case is actually mirrored when used with the Beyond Driver, since it's r the right way around when you have it have it. Then for the finisher... It'll basically activate the same things. And finally, although the Gingo watch is not compatible with any of the weapons because of its unique shape, it is still compatible with the GQ driver and the GK Droid watch. So we'll test it out with those two items. And as you can see here, it works in basically the same way as any other Mirai watch, where the watch itself plays a standby sound and then has the same pattern as it shares the same pin set with the others. However, this one works a lot better than the other ones because it doesn't have that stronger switch as it doesn't have that locking mechanism tied to one of the two buttons. So it's likely to work a lot better. That being said, it's not entirely perfect. And then we have the decayed ride watch. In order to activate that one, we need to flip it upside down and then attach it. It'll read it as common rider. And then, because of the way this works, it'll activate the standby sound as if it was being used in the GQ driver. And there we go. Overall, I have mixed feelings on the Gingham Ride watch. While the lights and sounds it makes are pretty cool, I just feel like some of the stuff involved in what's kind of going around, around it is some stuff that rings a bit hollow to me. The way this feels, it seems like they tried to cram three Mirai watches into one, and I don't feel like that works because with the other uh, Mirai watches, they were each based on a rider that they created from the sh uh, for the show, rather. But in the case of the Gingham Mirai watch, it takes its powers from a rider created for the show called Kamen Rider Ginga, and well, without actually. Spoiling much, I can say that Ginga was kind of a throwaway character made very blatantly just to create this watch, and there is no Kamen Rider Taiyo or Kamen Rider Wakusei, so it feels like they just add in those two 
to give this a little bit more playability, but it just feels a little bit weird and, you know, it still suffers from some of the same limitations as a normally ride watch where, you know, it just has those sounds on its own. There's no mixing and matching, although you could kind of do that with the GQ driver, but, you know, there's also the fact that it doesn't have that weapon functionality and it just feels like it's kind of made simply to give Waz a power-up form and there wasn't as much effort to put it in. I'd certainly personally call this the weakest of the power-up watches within the series, but that's just my opinion. If you like this watch, if you like Waz, if you want a power-up for him, I can certainly recommend picking this up. I, it's just something that I personally don't like as much as I think I could have, but again, it's just all a matter of personal taste. Next time, I'll be doing the Deluxe Dima Volcano. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.